in ships from Szeged in Hungary. C1 men, 1,000 metres final next. In lane two there, Steve Giles from Canada, sixth a year ago on home water, that was. In lane three, the reigning champion, Andreas Dittmer of Germany. 26-year-old from Neubrandenburg. The defending champion. His biggest rival is the man he beat into second position last year. And he's alongside him again from the Czech Republic. Martin Doctor in lane four. We're just looking back at uh, Jose Manuel Crespo in lane one, the Spaniard. Steve Giles there in lane two. There's Martin Doctor of the Czech Republic in lane four. Possibly the favorite. Maxim Opalev of Russia goes in lane five. Georgi Kolonic of Hungary in lane six. Big roar for him. In lane seven, the Latvian. Clementchevs. Christian Fredriksson of Norway goes in lane eight. And Pavel Baraskovic of Poland starts in lane nine. Spain in one, Canada two, Germany three, Czech Republic four, Russia five, Hungary six. Latvia 7, Norway 8, Poland 9. The World Championship C1, 1,000 metres final. And away they go, cleanly first time. Expect the pace to come from Martin Doctor of the Czech Republic in four and Andreas Dittmer of Germany in lane three. Now, just in case you're wondering why with C1 they don't uh, go around in circles because they paddle on the same side all the time, then there is a technique that uh, keeps the canoe in a straight line. Every second or third stroke, the paddler will just nudge the rear of the canoe and keep it on line with the paddle. It's a very quick movement. Um, in fact, blink and you'll miss it, but it does happen and that's why they don't go around in circles. There you go. In lane five at the moment, it's Maxim Opalev of Russia who's made an early break for it, but uh, he'll be well and truly tracked by the Hungarian Kolonic to his right and Martin Doctor, the big Czech athlete, to his left. At the top of the screen in lane one, Jose Manuel Crespo going pretty well with Steve Giles of Canada alongside him. Andreas Dittmer of Germany, the reigning champion in lane three. And uh, some way behind at this stage. Martin Doctor, silver medalist a year ago in lane four and uh, currently just about in second position here steve giles of canada already a winner this season in the regattas that was in duisburg in june martin doctor the winner in milan and pavel baraskovic who's in this final in lane nine was the other major winner of the summer that was in Mechelen in May Martin Doctor the Czech athlete in lane four as well as being a silver medalist at the world championships a year ago is also the reigning Olympic champion lane five Maxim Opalev of Russia was the man who made the early break and it's he who leads but he's now facing a fresh challenge from lane two and from Canada's Steve Giles. Georgie Kolonik of Hungary in lane six being urged along by the crowd. It's very tough going out there into quite a strong headwind and they're all having to work very hard indeed. 
Steve Giles has the lead for Canada in lane two. Martin Doctor in lane four. In second place now, but there's the leader. And where is Andreas Dittmer, the German from lane three? Expected to feature, but he's nowhere to be seen at this stage. 200 metres to go, and Steve Giles leads. Martin Doctor, Olympic champion, is second. Still no sign of the big German, Andreas Dittner. Expected to dominate this one. The reigning champion, but he's not going to feature in the medals unless he produces something remarkable. Steve Giles leads. The Canadian holding off the challenge of Martin Doctor of the Czech Republic. And Giles responding well to the challenge and paddling away from Martin Doctor. Doctor trying to come back at him. These two fighting for the gold medal. Steve Giles looks to have done enough to hold off Martin Doctor. Steve Giles will win the gold for Canada. Second place to Martin Doctor. And here comes the German at the very last minute to take the bronze, Andreas Dittmer. Coming from nowhere, he didn't really feature in the race at all, but he managed to come back into contention at the very last minute to take the bronze medal. But what a victory for Steve Giles. And uh, Steve Giles with no energy left to even uh, stabilize his canoe. There's uh, the German, Andy Dittmer. And I think uh, Steve Giles might just uh, give up and, uh, and have a swim. Ooh. Let's have a look at the finish again. Steve Giles facing this huge challenge from Martin Doctor of the Czech Republic. But Giles just managed to hold him off. And then here comes the big German, Andreas Dittmer, from nowhere to sneak the bronze medal. Well, the rescue crews are there quickly to uh, sort out Steve Giles and haul him in. Hasn't even got the energy to pull himself into the rib there, but um, plenty of muscle to help him in. He's given a blanket as well. It's not a warm day. It's not cold, but uh, that water has a certain nip to it. Wonderful rhythm. Amazing determination from Steve Giles of Canada. The world champion. 